Adam something is wrong in saying that anarcho-capitalism would lead to theocracy. The main reason for this is that in his conjecture on the topic, people are idiots and never stand up to Stefan. So I note, if you're going to make a fictional religion, don't have both the god then based the god and prophet on atheists. It may not have occurred to Adam, but an anarchist society would likely be comprised of anarchists. Thus, anarchist ethics would be as common knowledge as how to derive the square of the hypotenuse. This would be especially true among the richer members of society who know by their higher education how things like Stefan's 10% tax and his opposition to women's rights would be ethically incoherent and financially unprofitable and thus would attempt to stop the tyrant. But would Stefan assemble armies of the lower classes and attempt to displace the rich people? Unlikely. In advance of that, I would like to point out that Nikaf and 20% of the population isn't as charitable as Adam thinks. It would be a handicap to any economic system, in fact. But they would be better off under anarchy, since a division of labour based on private property leads to higher production, since the best producers of certain goods would actually bother to produce the goods since they know their property won't be stolen from them. A more glaring contradiction is when Adam states that they are completely unable to work, yet are suddenly able to work when Stefan creates forms for them with no explanation. Even still, it's unlikely this underclass would even exist or even be receptive to Atlassianism due to mutual aid societies. Of course, people would be concerned that one day they may suffer medical problems which cannot be paid for out of pocket and thus they would want to insure themselves against such a risk. The existence of mutual aid societies cannot be ruled out as many people have joined them in the past, for example a third of American males were once in these lodges, so it's probable that mutual aid would have covered major medical expenses. Further, these mutual aid societies taught ethics, so their members weren't constantly making stupid and expensive decisions, so at last Zionism would have to displace the ethics of many members of these societies in order to gain a foothold which is incredibly hard to do. So why does Adam omit this? Probably because he has done no research on the topic at hand. More evidence for this could be found in the bridge scenario. This is where a builder scams the town when he suddenly leaves halfway through building a bridge. Adam something indicates that without the relevant government agencies, victims of fraud would have no recourse. Did he forget that private investigators are a thing? It gets even more ridiculous with the suspicious deaths of entrepreneurs who try to build a ferry business. Does he really think the families of these businessmen would not want to discover the circumstances surrounding their deaths? His belief that this cellar tree can be solved through state schooling is flawed and makes his projection that the Alassians would make a school to indoctrinate the children all the more ironic. The main problem with state schooling is the inevitable conflict of interest that results from an organisation whose definitive feature to many philosophers is having a monopoly on violence in charge of educating the next generation at their most impressionable. Given that, it should be no surprise that the state tends to use the Prussian model of education, a system designed to instil obedience and discipline to improve the military effectiveness of the country and as such cannot account for the fact pupils are not some kind of homogenous mass to which information can be regurgitated and perfectly remembered. Worse than not actually properly teaching the children, it is also generally used as a tool to teach children their rights can and will be violated by the state. Students are punished for dissented speech as seen in Morse v Frederick. Despite the Fourth Amendment being very clear that you cannot search someone unless you have probable cause, the Supreme Court ruled that a lower standard applies to students by teaching students that their Fourth Amendment rights can be violated. State schools, which Adam supports, will become indoctrination camps due to the very nature of the state. While schools being indoctrination camps in anarchy could only come about if literally everybody in society falls asleep at the wheel. Thank you for watching. More content coming soon.